Welcome everyone. In this video, we'll look at a question that involves moles. We will use the amount of substance to calculate the number of molecules produced in a two-stage chemical reaction. It's an A-level chemistry exam question. Details are in the description. Let's get started. Here's the question. In a car airbag, sodium azide, NaN3, decomposes to form sodium metal and nitrogen gas, and we're given the balance equation. The sodium metal then reacts with potassium nitrate to produce more nitrogen gas. And once again, we're given a balanced equation. If 2.00 mole of sodium azide react in this way, how many molecules of N2 will be formed? And we're given the value for the Avogadro constant L. This was a multiple choice question, but I haven't shown the options here to save some space. I've edited the question here, leaving only the essential information. To answer this question, we need to use reacting ratios. These can be found by looking at the balanced equations. We need to think about the total amount of N2 that will be formed from 2.00 mole of NaN3 in the two-stage process. If we look at stage 1, 2.00 mole of NaN3 will form 3.00 mole of N2. 2.00 mole of Na will also be produced in stage 1. The Na that is produced in stage 1 will go on to react with KNO3 in stage 2 and produce more N2. Na reacts with KNO3 in stage 2 to produce N2 in a 10 to 1 ratio. 2.00 mole of Na will produce a further 0.20 mole of N2. The total amount of N2 produced by 2.00 moles of NaN3 in this two-stage process is 3.20 moles. To work out the number of N2 molecules, we use the equation number of particles is equal to amount multiplied by Avogadro's number. Remember, we are given Avogadro's number in the question. The number of nitrogen molecules works out to be 1.93 times 10 to the 24. So option B is the correct response. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care and good luck with your studies.